I'm saying. Did he do it? 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 I think we can, I think all, we agree can all agree that Puff Daddy is 50 Cent's favorite target. You really, when you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. The whole mantra, can't stop, won't stop, is like, you gotta be relentless. You gotta have a bit of crazy. You can't take no for an answer. You gotta make it happen. 50 Cent stands out in the rap industry by openly mocking Diddy amidst rumors of a scandal involving him, contrasting with other rappers who've gone quiet. Surprisingly, 50 Cent has managed to stay out of the alleged freak off tapes controversy surrounding Diddy. Recently, he expanded his targets to include Jay-Z, raising eyebrows. Speculations link Jay-Z to Diddy's legal troubles, suggesting Jay-Z's prior association with Diddy might imply involvement in similar activities. Their long-standing friendship and Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy added fuel to the rumors, with claims that Jay-Z distanced himself from Diddy, even allegedly cancelling his Rock Nation brunch to avoid awkward encounters. While these rumors swirl, no concrete evidence has emerged implicating Jay-Z in Diddy's affairs. Nonetheless, 50 Cent's provocations hint at potential insider knowledge about the dynamics between Jay-Z and Diddy, stirring curiosity and speculation within the rap community. Damn. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. It's different than when it was 2016. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lump. So it's widely recognized that 50 Cent has been a vocal critic of Diddy in the music industry, consistently calling him out long before Diddy's recent troubles. Now, 50 Cent has turned his attention to Jay-Z, Diddy's former close friend. While some view 50's actions as trolling due to their past beef, others, including insiders, have questioned Jay-Z's associations over the years. There's speculation that Jay-Z's friendships, including those with Diddy and R. Kelly, reflect a pattern of being associated with controversial figures. This scrutiny intensified when Dame Dash alleged Jay-Z's knowledge of R. Kelly's actions towards Aaliyah, despite collaborating with him. Such revelations prompt questions about Jay-Z's choices in companionship. In essence, 50 Cent's criticisms, alongside broader industry discussions, highlight concerns about the company Jay-Z keeps and the implications of those associations. Yeah, already destroyed, but then years later they tried to do the tour. Um, the best of both, the best Yeah, of both. but it still didn't work out. But you notice I wasn't a part of any of that, but, and the karma happens. But the thing I didn't understand is I was like, I know I'm not f with that. And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way, I knew morally we weren't the same. The mere fact itself speaks volumes about Jay's character. However, Jaguar joined the conversation and took it a step further by alleging that Jay-Z stood by R. Kelly's side because he was guilty of similar actions. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both f***ed Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. And in a more they... recent interview, Jaguar suggested that Jay-Z might be even worse than Diddy. The key distinction, she noted, is that Jay operates in silence and isn't as overtly careless as Diddy. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh, oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This he been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for thirty years. Amidst so the federal raids on Diddy's residences, questions arise about Jay-Z's awareness of his friend's alleged criminal activities. Diddy, facing accusations, vehemently denies wrongdoing and criticizes the raid's aggressive nature, labeling it a witch hunt. In a statement through his attorney to E! News, Diddy maintains innocence, condemning the excessive force employed by authorities during the raids. The raids, targeting Diddy's homes in Miami and Leigh, yielded boxes and bags of potential evidence. As Diddy breaks his silence, the public awaits further developments in this unfolding legal saga, while speculation about Jay-Z's involvement continues. 
Arndyer said yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force, as search warrants were executed at Mr. Cole's residences, there is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated Diddy's lawyer also claimed that Diddy already spoke to and cooperated with authorities and clarified that no members of the comms family have been arrested this unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil law suits the lawyer added there has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name the recent raids on Diddy's properties, orchestrated by Homeland Security, suggest a significant investigation with substantial evidence. These precise actions indicate a thorough scrutiny over time, likely stemming from solid probable cause. Reports speculate that Diddy's industry peers, including Jay-Z, might be questioned, adding intrigue to the situation. 50 Cent, through Instagram posts, subtly hints at Jay-Z's involvement, joking about his absence during the ordeal. Such insinuations are circulating amidst the seriousness of the allegations, potentially implicating a broader network in Diddy's legal troubles. While it's crucial to acknowledge the lawyer's duty in representing Diddy, describing this as a witch hunt seems exaggerated given the meticulousness and gravity of the operation. The involvement of Homeland Security underscores the severity of the situation, implying more than just routine legal matters. As details unfold, speculation intensifies with figures like 50 Cent using social media to add fuel to the narrative. These events cast a shadow over the entertainment industry, raising questions about the extent of Diddy's alleged involvement and who else might be implicated in the investigation. One ex-user said Diddy is just the tip of the iceberg for the S-TRA and money laundering scheme by the elites Jay-Z is next just watch and grab your Bibles, it's about to get biblical and then another person added Jay-Z got multiple projects with R. Kelly and is good friends with Diddy where there's smoke there's always fire. The Beehive is actively working to divert attention from this conversation. They're now dragging 50 for supposedly being jealous of Jay-Z one Beehive member went off on people bringing up the Carters and their connection to Diddy saying it's weird that y'all don't like Beyonce so much that y'all are trying to tie her to something she has nothing to do with first it was people begging for her to be on the Epstein list and now y'all want her to be linked to Diddy in some way imagine hating someone for no reason so bad that y'all try to link her to evil people so y'all can get rid of her and it ain't happening. We need not seek to connect Beyoncé and Jay-Z with nefarious figures. Numerous photos depict the Carters at Diddy's gatherings and industry functions. Here's Beyoncé alongside Diddy's former aide, Fonsworth Bentley, at the CFDA Fashion Awards in 2004. Diddy himself is seen conversing with Beyoncé at the same event, displaying familiarity. Reports suggest Diddy shared a close bond with Mama Tina, Beyoncé's mother. Diddy himself acknowledged a familial connection, stating only his mother and Jay-Z are permitted to address him by his birth name. Jay-Z has openly lauded Diddy, as evidenced by his tribute during the 2022 BET Lifetime Achievement Award ceremony. In a recorded message, Jay-Z credited Diddy for instilling in him the resilience needed in corporate settings, citing him as a blueprint for aspiring moguls. The whole mantra, can't stop, won't stop, is like, you gotta be relentless, you gotta have a bit of crazy, you can't take no for an answer, you gotta make it happen. He embodies that. Here's this guy from a neighborhood similar to where I've grown up that made it to these unreachable heights. Puff was the first one that came through and made us feel like, you know, it was us. It was ghetto fabulous. We took our rightful place at the tables in the boardrooms and the fashion shows and, you know, we arrived. That impact obviously had an effect on all of us and let us carve our own space. And it was like, oh, we, we could be in these spaces without assimilating. We're gonna be in these spaces as ourselves. To change someone's mindset and take the limits off of kids' dreams. When you dream about things, when you see it done, then you know that dream becomes attainable. Then it's something that you can reach for. It just feels like the ultimate coach. Culture, you can't measure that. It's like you get in there and he'll make you believe that you can do anything. I understand that Jambi's fans may not appreciate people mentioning their association with Diddy, but the Carters have showcased this connection for years. Consequently, it's understandable why figures like 50 Cent are curious about their sudden silence on the matter. As for 50 Cent dragging Jay-Z into this Diddy drama, it's worth considering whether Jay was fully informed about Diddy's alleged crimes. 
Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for the next video.